And May is Asthma Awareness Month, and researchers want to raise awareness about the need to get newer, more effective therapies into the hands of patients. Some 25 million Americans have asthma. More than 2 million have asthma that is considered severe. And experts say some of the older treatments have long-term risks that now can be reduced. Severe asthma is asthma that is difficult to control with high doses of inhaled treatment and that continues to cause patients to have a lot of symptoms, poor quality of life, asthma attacks, going to the doctor, the ER, or the hospital. Asthma attacks can be life-threatening and require urgent treatment. But a recent study finds the main cause of death for people with severe asthma is actually heart disease. Dr. Njira Lugogo, a pulmonologist at U of M Health, says certain medications may be the reason. We suspect that this is likely related to the uh, oral steroids that are given to treat patients with severe asthma when they have acute attacks. Now, oral steroids work for patients with asthma, but we really need to start thinking about the risks and the possibility of cardiovascular complications. Lugogo says newer medications may carry fewer harmful side effects. It so happens we are in a very exciting time in terms of asthma management. There are many, many therapies that are quite highly effective at reducing exposure to oral corticosteroids for patients with asthma. Some of them are inhaled, some of them are injectable medications that you can take at home. So I highly recommend that you talk to your healthcare provider to identify the best treatment options for you and really focus primarily on asthma control and reducing asthma attacks. Yeah, the University of Michigan is also participating in a lot of national and international clinical trials to better understand the best treatments for asthma patients, to test new therapies and find new ways to deliver asthma drugs to them as well.